Hi, this is an assessment of the Megahome water distiller. My reason for wanting a water distiller was to get rid of all the toxins in the water that I use for uh, cooking and drinking. And especially I wanted to uh, get rid of the fluoride that's added to the water by the water supplier. This is the tap water situation in the area where I live. According to this map, the amount of fluoride in the local tap water varies between 0 0.5 and 1 milligram per litre. But <clears throat> according to the 2012 report of Northumbrian Water Limited, the upper limit of fluoride that they allow themselves is 1.5 milligrams per litre. So what about the mega home water distiller unit itself? So this is the, the, the big boy itself, the water distiller, stainless steel and uh, the, the body takes four litres of water. However, I found that um, if I put four litres of water in, I actually only get 3.9 litres of, of distilled water out at the end of the process. So you lose 2.5% by volume of water in order to get the distilled product at the end. Another thing I didn't realise is that this part up here um, contains uh, a fan driven by an electric motor. So that means that when, when the Meg Home distiller is actually switched on, it's not exactly quiet. Using a, a noise meter, the Mega Home distiller puts out between 50.8 and 55.2 decibels. So it's quieter than a microwave oven, but not much. This spout, this spout here, is where the activated charcoal filter goes. Uh, JD Harris give you six filters in with the price of the unit so that keeps you going for six months or so. So following the advice in the owner's manual I use a normal electric kettle to get the tap water up to boiling point. I then transfer the water into the mega home water distiller, turn it on and with a room temperature of 18 degrees Celsius at the moment, uh, the distillation process takes four hours, 47 minutes, just short of five hours. So how well does the mega home water distiller actually work? I've recorded its performance on two different dates. On July the 12th, 2014, tap water with a total dissolved solids reading of 170 came out of the distiller at the end of the process with a TDS reading of zero. In other words, totally pure water, according to the TDS meter. And, and at the same time, that water, the pH of that water had gone from 7.6 to a pH of 6.7, so it had become slightly acidic. On an earlier date, the TDS of the tap water reduced from 182 down to 3, and the pH changed from 7.1 to 6.4. Compare those with readings I got from testing one of the cleaner varieties of bottled water, that's Ashbeck mineral water, bought from Tesco's, which recorded a uh, total dissolved solids reading of 61, so it's fairly low, and a pH of 6.5. So the 
mega home water distiller really does seem to do its job. You get you get pretty well pure water out at the end, albeit at the expense of making it slightly acidic. What about the cost of getting this purified water? At 2014 prices, I calculate that Northumberland Water Limited are charging me 0 0.437 pence per litre of tap water. You have to add the cost of the electricity used in the distillation process. Well, uh, boiling four litres of water in an electric kettle is using up 0 0.416 kilowatt hours. And the mega home unit uh, is using a further 2.971 kilowatt hours to process that four litres. And I pay the electric supplier 17.25 pence per kilowatt hour. So allowing for the fact that I only get 3.9 litres of distilled water for every four litres of tap water I put in, I calculate that the the total cost of electricity used comes down to 14.98 pence per litre, 15 pence in effect. One thing I should say is that <coughs> that, uh, that electricity amount uh, relates to the summer months when the, the tap water comes out of the tap at um, about 18 degrees centigrade and the temperature inside the house where the mega home unit is working is about 20 degrees centigrade. So during the colder months when the tap water is going to be colder and the ambient temperature is going to be colder, I expect to be using more electricity to process the water. Then we need to add the cost of the filters used, allowing for the six free filters that come with the unit and using JD Harris's special price at the moment, I'll work out the filters will add another 0 0.63224 pence per litre. So the running cost of producing distilled water with the mega home, uh, that's tap water plus electricity plus filters, comes to 16.05 pence per litre. Finally, the mega home obviously has uh, a certain life before it starts to break down. For example, the, uh, the electric motor that drives the fan is going to be working for on average five hours every day of the year. So let's assume that the mega home will last for, say, five years before it starts to break down. The cost of the unit from JD Harris is uh, £149 in June 2014 and delivery cost a further £7.95. So if you divide that those two figures by five years and then by 1,423.5 litres a year that it would actually produce, um, that gives us a cost of 2.2051 pence per litre. If, if, the, if the distiller happens to last for let's say 10 years then that figure would be half. So according to my calculations in my particular circumstances the, the true total cost of getting distilled pure water um, for me is going to be 18.255 pence per litre for everything. It might be a bit less if the unit lasts longer. Uh, it might be more if uh, colder temperatures require me to use more electricity. So 18.255 pence per litre. Uh, compare that with a five litre bottle of Ashbeck uh, mineral water 
from Tesco's, which um, presently costs £1.10, in other words, 22 pence per litre. So 22 pence per litre for quite a, a reasonable quality mineral water compared with 18.25 pence per litre totally pure water. Just a word on maintenance. After the mega home unit has done its, its stuff, you, you, you're always left with a, a slight um, hard deposit on the bottom of inside of the, the boiler. Uh, the, the owner's manual recommends covering that with um, some hot boiling water, adding citric acid and that'll get rid of it. But I've just used water and a pan scourer and just rubbed, you know, rubbed it off and I do that every time and that's, uh, that, that's working fine. So that's, so that's it. Um, the unit really works. You get pure water every time and that, that's, that's the main purpose and that's the main criterion that I'm concerned with. I use five litres of water a day, cooking and drinking. So the unit will have to be working once every day. The process, however, does use a lot of electricity. And although it's the overall it's still cheaper than buying bottled water, it does mean I'm going to have to accept quite a significant increase in the annual electricity bill. 